today's scrap recovery video, we're going to be recovering aluminum from this lawnmower motor. Before we get started on this, we're going to drain the oil out of the engine. On the underside of the deck, you have a 3 8 drive square plug that you have to remove to drain the oil out. After you drained all your oil out, you're going to remove the blade. You have a 5 8 nut that's on the bottom of this blade to remove. You may need a breaker bar to break it loose. You have three or four bolts to remove on the bottom of this deck. Most of them are half inch, sometimes it could be 9 16 Just recovering the metal and you're not trying to save the motor, and you can't get the bolts loose, come up on this top and break this housing. And after you succeeded at getting your motor out, you're going to take the recoil assembly cover off. It's going to have four, five, three, eight screws in it. Now you have a 5 16 bolt on the filler tube. You have to remove that also. You have a few 5 16 bolts on the flywheel braking assembly. Now you're going to remove the coil assembly. Quarter inch. You have two quarter inch screws for the gas tube inlet. Three H open end wrench, you're gonna remove the governor attachment. Now we're gonna remove the muffler. You have these little tabs that hold these bolts in place. You have to bend these little tabs back. Got two 716 bolts holding the muffler on. You have two 38 bolts you have to remove that holds the throttle assembly. Now we're going to remove the spark plugs. That's 15 16 You got some bolts to remove to take the cylinder head off. Half inch. You have the access panel to the valve springs that you have to remove. Three eighths. Now there's a little clip that holds these bow stems on there. You're gonna take a screwdriver and get that clip out of there. There's a little slot in this retainer. That's how you get that off of there. You have to slide it to the larger opening on the end. Next, we're gonna remove the nut from the flywheel. It's an inch and one eighth. It's unlikely that this is going to cooperate. If you don't have an impact to remove this, you can use a chisel. On the nut, and it'll tap it loose. I still have a few bolts on this bottom housing to remove. Some of the methods may seem a bit unorthodox. We're not trying to rebuild the motor, we're trying to recover aluminum for scrap from the motor. Whatever measures it takes to get the aluminum off the scrap. You have this metal plate you gotta remove, it has four quarter inch bolts on it. We gotta remove the rings and we gotta move the wrist pin. There's a little clip right inside here. You're just gonna take a screwdriver and get that out of there. Here's all items we recovered from the lawnmower. 
I get a few comments that people say it's not worth it tearing apart, throw it in with the steel. It's not always about the money. At these times right now with the low junk prices, it's definitely not about the money. It's more for you guys, the viewers. A lot of people don't do scrapping, but they like to watch people tear things apart. Is it worth it to tear it apart? In dollars and cents, sometimes no, it's not worth it. I do it for you guys, so you know what to tear apart and what not to tear apart. And it's not always about the money with scrapping. It's a sense of accomplishment. Sometimes tearing something apart will teach you a few things that you didn't know before. It teaches you problem solving. I didn't have an impact wrench to get the bolts off. Not everyone can afford expensive tools. You have to learn other options to overcome the obstacles in your way. What you have gained and accomplished from tearing things apart. You've learned creativeness, problem solving, and other skills. The value of worth is only up to the guy turning the wrench. Sometimes if you take a something apart, it'll take your mind off your daily problems. What did we learn? We learned that tearing a small engine apart ain't gonna put a lot of money in your pocket, but it might teach you how to do something in the future. It might give you problem solving skills. At least now you know how to tear a lawnmower apart where you didn't before. It may teach you a skill in the future that you can use. Hope anything I've done and showed you in this video has been helpful to you. We'll see you guys in the next one.